In the 1890s, it was a beautiful high-end hotel, but now most people know the Janion Hotel as a crumbling downtown Victoria derelict. But the boarded-up building has now been purchased by a Vancouver developer who's no stranger to redevelopment in the area. CTV's Andrew Johnson has the story. He joins us live with more. Andrew. Hudson, many people feel the Janion building was never given a chance to reach its full potential, but that may finally change more than 120 years after it was first built in a very different downtown Victoria. For a while, it looked like the Janion Hotel would be demolished before it could be restored, but a Vancouver development company is pledging to heap attention on the 121-year-old building that has been neglected for decades. Our intention in buying it is certainly uh, first and foremost to pursue a plan that involves uh, rehabilitation and, and, and maintaining the, the existing Janion building, although it would be put to a different use. Reliance Properties paid $2.49 million to buy the Janion. If the company's name sounds familiar, that's because Reliance is also behind the proposed $25 million redevelopment of the nearby northern junk lands at the foot of Johnson Street, which will go to a public hearing in the fall. The company is not revealing what exactly is planned for the Janion just yet. The prominent building has been empty since the 1970s except to become the venue for a 2006 protest when a man barricaded himself inside, a far cry from how it was intended to be used. Despite the Janion being described as quite luxurious for its time, it wasn't open for long, only two years, because historians say it was literally built on the wrong side of the tracks. That end of Store Street was a haunt of whalers and loggers and miners. They wanted a place that served liquor. And unfortunately, the Janion initially was not. By the time they got a liquor license, about two years later, the hotel managers were bankrupt. The building later became office space and storage. Now it could become one of the cornerstones of a major transformation surrounding the new Johnson Street Bridge. The excitement around the new bridge is that it was going to spur, you know, close to half a billion dollars worth of, of redevelopment in this area. We know if, the, for example, the northern junk goes ahead, that's about $800,000 a year in new assessed revenue. Add that to the Janion, uh, you know, that's $1.5 million. That goes a long ways for towards us at City Hall as we try to keep taxes down. In fact, the bridge, the Janion, and the northern junk could all be under construction at the same time. Hudson, I asked the president of Reliance Properties whether or not the new Johnson Street Bridge has anything to do with the company purchasing first the Northern Junklands and now the Janion Hotel. He says no, but that the new bridge doesn't hurt, especially in adding physical beauty to the area, an area that in, say, five years' time is going to look very different, hopefully for the better. I'm sure it'll look a whole lot better. That's right. All right. Andrew, thank you. You're welcome.